The last thing we talked about was how Ryan Moody proposed to you over the internet, finally gave in, and you agreed to get married. This is like a week into our relationship. So this ring and the, from the blue box on your finger, and I um, ask you the most important question of my life. So it was always things like that. Okay. And so that's the thing that gets me confused is the part with the um, uh, Airbnb conversation okay. that I think uh, Ryan Moody said that you got an Airbnb close to his home or you no, rented out an Airbnb. No. How did that work? See, this is what makes me mad because he made it seem like I was just this person obsessed with him. But like he had me believing we were going to buy a house together. First, he wanted me to live with his mom and mm -hmm. move out there and me and my child to live with his mother. And I said, no, like I'm not moving <laughs> from California to over there. And my child likes the school she goes to. Thank you. So he had me believing that I was going to move from the place I was at because I had a male roommate. And so and that situation wasn't the best. So I needed to move anyways, but he had me convinced to go stay at an Airbnb, like hurry up and get into an Airbnb because I'm going to fly out there and we're going to be looking at houses to buy. Okay. And I don't think he would have let me and his mom hang out alone anyways, because she doesn't know he does YouTube. So she would like, talk, we would talk back and forth, me and his mom through him. Cause like he was so worried that I was going to tell his mom that he did YouTube. Living in with a live-in boyfriend. And while he was sending you food, he was the live-in boyfriend. His name is Luis, I believe. His name is Juan, but no. And that was your living boyfriend, and you guys were, you were kind of like um, playing him, like you were kind of like with him, and then you were with Ryan Moody at the same time. Well, I had a relationship with that person over a year ago, and we had ended things, but we also had a place like together. So moving out was just kind of like, okay, we're separated, but we're roommates. And we, ha we had been broken up for like a year before I even started talking to Ryan, which he knows that. And I want to say Ryan made it sound like, Every month he was helping me with food and he was just, he sent me like two vegan boxes and an Instacart once. And like, mind you, this is somebody we're engaged, we're engaged. So like, he's making it sound like I bummed money off of him. Like, when you're in a relationship or you think you are and you say, hey, I'm kind of hurting right now. Like, can you help me this one time with Instacart? <laughs> yeah, when you got engaged with Ryan Moody mm -hmm. and um, you moved to your Airbnb mm -hmm. and you were waiting for Ryan Moody, you wrote him a message that said, your future bonus daughter says goodnight and we love you so much. Hoping we can talk to you by next weekend. Thank you mm -hmm. for teaching me the things I needed. So no, like it's not okay because my daughter, when I got wet through the broke up, breakup, so did my daughter. You only knew this guy for like two weeks mm -hmm. on the internet, and you got engaged with him. Do you think that it was like a little bit crazy? One of the biggest regrets I have in my life. But my responsibility in this is yeah, in ever involving my child in this and well, uh, Feudy Beauty content. Yeah, um, reacting to Feudy Beauty's relationships and her walks of life and walk of life and everything that she does. Now yeah. she, now she had a clap back at you, basically saying like, "Hey, like you over here reacting to my life when mm -hmm. you over here dating a guy that you only met for two weeks, engaged with them, and then throwing your daughter in in it." And she, she she is standing on something like she's saying, "Hey, you're reacting to my life. You're shitting on me every day, but everything's not copacetic in your." 